cars everywhere. I have to stare out the window every day and, and see a, a pile of trash. The only time it was good is when there was snow on it. Calling it an eyesore dangerous and say it's been like this for years. William White residents are calling on the city to remove a building that was demolished years ago but never cleaned up. We're always scared, you know, kids in the neighborhood are going to go play in there and, you know, who knows, start, started on fire or whatever, you know. I mean, they started the house on fire, so why wouldn't they start the pile on fire? Leo Fraden lives across the street from the debris pile on Salter. It's in direct sight of his front windows, and he says the house burned numerous times before it was torn down. I always thought maybe somebody would force the owner to do something with the property. And if he owes taxes on it, then obviously it should be gone. It should be re repossessed, and that's it, done, finished. Pretty simple task. He's wondering why the city left the building in ruins for years, and so is Neighborhood Association President Daryl Warren. It's very dangerous, and the bad thing is, is they go ahead and they knock these fences because, as you see behind me, it's only a temporary fence. Really doesn't stop anything. So people go in there, and and what I'm afraid of is kids go in there and they start picking through it. He says people now use this as a garbage dump, and that's seconded by a Winnipegger who is helping a refugee family living next door who weren't comfortable enough with their English to speak to city news themselves. We have five little kids here in this family and it's just uh, not healthy. It would be so nice if it was just green grass where they could play or at least where there wasn't garbage dumped all the time. He says people throw old mattresses and garbage in the lot and then people hop the fence at night to root through it. It skewed the perspective of Canada these refugees hold. People coming from Eritrea, war-torn country, they think this is normal, but it's not normal. City News reached out to the city for a comment on the property and to find out exactly how many years it's laid in waste and why, but that information was not made available by broadcast deadline. The city did say they are in communication with the property owner about next steps. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.